Hey mate, here's Aaron Saw, and I pulled this one up. Um, I just ran a degree wheel, a degree wheel over the store. I didn't film it, but um, I was surprised. It's only got um, the 69 degrees opening when it starts opening. I thought it'd be more than 69, but then I started thinking. Um, thinking maybe probably when you start thinking too much. Now, get this sort. When the saw uh, spins normal, piston goes up, and I'll go, I'll go towards it. There's a bit of light in the subject. Right, so when you spin the saw over normally, piston goes around, it's going down, comes back up. Now that piston he opened here at 69 degrees. So that's when the suction starts, as the piston goes up, it starts sucking air and fuel in. And that piston starts coming back down and it becomes a plunger, so it starts pumping fuel and air to the sum of the cylinder. Which makes me start thinking, why do we carve out the arse end of the intake? Because the more we carve that down like that, less chance it's got to um, put volume in the base of the sump and less time it has to compress the saw. Or are we doing it wrong? So this will be a blind port. See how it goes. But I want to actually take more off the top as much as I can. So when it is open, it's got more time to... So when it comes to here... When it is open, it's got more time to suck and it's got more time to press the fuel and air in the sump. Because the moment you go further down, the less time near spit spitback. So I'm wondering if I can remove more from up the top and as wide as I can so I get more chance to have more fuel in the sump than normal. Now the exhaust is 102, so I don't really have to make the exhaust any higher. Um, so I'll just make it wider. But I will... Um, get right into the transfers because I want the want the transfers there's more room so there's more room to have more air and more fuel stored in the sump so I can go bang because I've, as as you know I like my silos silos are massive transfers and that's what they do um they're low compression the 70s and 80s but they're holding all that air in that in the base of the sump and I think that's the reason um you need room because when you suck the air and stuff in here your pressure is not high that's why you can't turbo a chainsaw because the fuel in the air would have straight the exhaust if that was the case. I'm going to be creating a valve sometime. But yeah, I'm just just thinking that. Why do we kick? Why do we bite out the guts of the intake? So I've always gone further down, but yeah, just fuel, fuel for thought. Right, I'm going to pull this thing now. Right, getting further into this, um, I just pulled the pistons off. Um, a little bit of wear on, wear on it already. Slip the skirt there. Not much. I had 10 tanks of fuel. Um, there's a lot of flashing and crap in there. Well, um, windows, so they have to be cleaned out. It's part of the main problem. And these have a um, one of the proper um, wrist pin clips, just as to see. So a bit hard to pull apart, but that's what it needs to have in it. Um, it turns out too, it's got a paper gasket. So parts there, there's paper. So I'll clean it up. I touch it to put some more um, nose seal. It came off one piece, but it's all glued down. See that? All glued. So, this is what I'm, I'm left with. I'll clean it up, some oil in there. But, um, yeah, she looks alright. No real problems with it. I like to pull them apart. Fuel tank off because having their um, intake boot the way it is, I want to make sure I glue it down properly and don't have anything interfering with the tank or anything like that. So, there's one problem with stills I don't really like. Bit of crap down the cylinder. But I want the block in there. Pull that out too. Alright, I'll pull up this thing now. But I'll have the eyes have a look. The exhaust is. Still a cross hatching. Not much of an exhaust. Pretty grotty looking thing. Not much at all. Make that a little bit wider. Transfers. Oh, they get a bit wider. Not much more. The apples are all right. Intake, I'd say square off the ass. So, say half a ring down on that, square it off, and um, they'll probably get about 76 degrees intake, I'd say. But I'm looking for about 74, 75, something like that. That's the side like. 
That's the other one there. So I'm going to take that, that lower transfer there on the right hand side towards the exhaust. That one there towards the exhaust on the left hand side. So I want the air to flow back into the upper transfers back towards the carb. You see, we've done a squish test. So I, I can't take that gas off, otherwise, it'd be five thou um, to squish, I think. Because they said, the way with this piston um, gasket here, it said 25 thou to um, squish. So if I remove that, I'm in trouble with squish. So it's pretty tight now. All right, do the porting. Okay, the end result. So there's the intake. Made it a bit deeper, not much. Just a, a little bit, um, a bit close to it. Close to the, not much different. That's the original scratches there. So just a bit more. But straight the bottom, um, there's a bottom transfer. Um, the exhaust, I've changed a bit. There's the bottom one. I cleaned up so it's got more air. Get right down the guts. The exhaust, all I did with that was actually make it a bit higher on the top, so just to make it so the um, ring, the ring could go in and out the piston without getting caught. Yeah, it looks good, mate. I'll put the store back together. I forgot to show the piston. Uh, piston windows have been opened up just a bit so I can breathe a bit more. They were a lot restricted before and a lot of flashing, a lot of crap, but now I can breathe. Clean up the stuff inside, it's working really good, really good now, more airflow. This is not a heavily port, this is just a mild port, but it'll work good. Alright, that's it. So, I've well, got her back together. Um, I just put a time wheel on it. It was 102 on the exhaust, now it's 100. Transfer's the same, 125. The intake was 69, now it's 72. Squish is... Um, 0 0.025, so it's just the same. Use the same base gasket. Um, and it arched up a little bit, and I've only put one ring in the arm um, saw. So you see that one ring there? One ring. Try me this floral. There's a ring. So it's going to be a different little saw. The um, top of the exhaust is more curved. So she should rev her head off, really. Be a beautiful talk you saw. But I haven't changed the timing much on thing. I've um, made the um, transfers a lot bigger. So it's all about getting more air down there, squishing the sump more than usual, and just seeing how it goes, because I've never really done it this way. This is different. I normally do a lot more timing, but I want more pressure in the sump to create more power. Well, that's the theory. You know, how are we doing time, um, timing on our chainsaws the right way, or is this the right way? I'm not sure. So... Let's see how this thing runs. Alright, over now, guys.